Hello, I'm Masa. I'm a founder and XO of Oblink, which I founded in 2014. And we're going to develop the one of the world's first linear scalable private blockchain software named OVDOT. And I sold this company to the SBA holders in 2018. And since then, I started this YouTube channel, and the purpose is very simple. I want to help the people more fully and deeply understand about the potential of the blockchain and crypto assets. And then, because you know, this is one of the most pioneer technologies in the world right now, and this is the personal computer and the internet. And then also through this channel, I want to develop the ecosystem with you guys together. And then for this time, you know, invest in or not themes like legal contents about you know, Tron, TRX. So Tron is one of the, you know, the largest and the major uh, birth project in the blockchain space. And then one of the reasons you know, I pick up this time is actually Tron take a kind of little bit, you know, unique approach, especially product strategy perspective to compete with other birth project or any other like, you know, the tech titans in the internet space too. So it's kind of worth to know, you know, I'm going to share to you, you know, my thought about it. This could be worth you guys too. So I'm going to pick up this time about the Tron, okay? So let's start. So, you know, first thing is, you know, the regular item. So, from my, you know, based on my portfolio strategy, the category, the layer that the uh, Trump is located, here, positioning here, is actually not about the Bros project, but also, you know, they, since they're going to take the you know, vertical product strategy model, also I categorize them into the depth layer, first one, and also the second layer, decentralized CDN, okay? Then, you know, six main, uh, know, regular analytical points about, you know, pain points products, teams, execution power, token economy, and hype cycle, right? Then let's start from number one, pain point, okay? And about pain point, about, you know, especially for the bros project, is, you know, this is a crit uh, critical, the thing, you know, any anyone should understand about, you know, how we're gonna see the market potential of the bus project. So the dApps need bros for product development in their early stages, okay? Then, then let me explain the detail stuff. So the first things, you know, Entire blockchain industry, what we're especially working on is, you know, we're going to building like, you know, completely new internet or IT infrastructure, which is completely against what the central governance system. And that central governance system in the internet industry right now is controlled by mainly these four players, Google, Facebook, Apple, and Amazon, these players still, okay? And then, since like, you know, these players also have like over billion active user base in worldwide. Worldwide, for example, Facebook have around like two point five, two point nine billion active user base in global basis. Google also have the you know the Chrome website, uh, and Chrome web, web browser, which is over like you know over three billion use active user base in the worldwide basis too. Okay, so from that point, like you know, if we want to like blockchain industry supplier wants to disrupt where we invent into internet infrastructure, you know, not, you know, far away from like a central governance system like these four players, the things we have to do achieve the how we're going to develop the very scalable and a massive, you know, active, you know, over billion user, active user base, like in you know, a social network or search engine or something in an internet space, right? But from the, how we're going to build the, the kind of ecosystem stuff, you know, the things we have to think about actually, you know, for the DApps player, they have to develop about, you know, not about the taking care of the real economy or security economy, but also like, you know, network effects, you know, these three elements is extremely important for these you know, players, you know, DApps player. So that's why, you know, usually most of the DApps player recognize that, you know, building their own blockchain network, just like a Bitcoin, and building like, you know, P2P or the validated network or non network on the internet space is extremely tough work, especially for related to these areas, you know, decentralized autonomous organizations. So some like, you know, Software player taking, you know, software layer can take in care of like, you know, those kind of, you know, the governance layer, especially how we're gonna build a massive computer, P2P computer resources aggregated, and then they're gonna manage, and then, you know, the application player can use these, you know, P2P decentralized computer resources, you know, more effectively and efficiently based on like, you know, and build like a decentralized internet, which is actually extremely helpful for the depth player. And then from that, you know, from this perspective, actually, Bros project, is played a very critical role to help the DApps project, okay? Especially like, you know, and as I said, like a decentralized organization perspective, you know, the, the bus project is critical help, critical help or support for the DApps player 
to not, you know, they don't, they don't need to take care of like, you know, these, you know, DAO elements in their early stages. And then when you look at the history of these elements, and when you look at these like key elements here, actually, you know, we have an analogy from the internet industry. Okay, so which is actually, you know, issue about the AWS and iOS. So like since 2006 or 7, we have experienced actually computer big one, you know, some of the experts in the industry say. So we have actually massive explore applications like, you know, has come up to the, you know, in this like IT industry, especially smartphone space. And then, you know, those in a player includes a lot of active user base. They'll also help like, you know, internet expansion on a global basis can happen through this like a computer big bang. And then two player, you know, play a very critical role for this is about you know, AWS by Amazon and iOS. And especially, you know, both projects are extremely related to, you know, this AWS project. Because before the AWS, most of like, you know, an application and developer who wants to use their own and develop and start the services of applications have to rent the, their data center and the that cost is quite expensive one usually like you have to pay like you know over you know the thousands of you know dollars us dollars you know per month or something as a minimum level but AWS, they're gonna you know lend for app developer to use their server resources timely manner especially like, you know milli you know, seconds basis when you use like one minute, you have to pay that. If you get 30 seconds, you have to pay that. So, you know, the pay bill actually coming from the monthly base one, but the key point here is extremely cheaper than, you know, renting the data center in an existing like, you know, ID solution in the past. So because of that, you know, AWS is a huge hit on a, for the app developer. So a lot of like, you know, startups in the early stage, you know, it's kind of a dominant player right now that the most people, more app developer are using like an AWS on the early stages, such as Dropbox, Airbnb, Uber, all and player start AWS in the early stages. Okay. And also like, you know, I, you know, since like we have an iPhone from season, you know, around like, you know, season six and seven, you know, a lot of like, you know, those users who have not used to you know, access the internet because they don't have a desktop computer or something also start to use, you know, the access and uh, also, you know, start to access the internet because of smartphone, especially iPhone. So this kind of, you know, combination of the innovations is a huge contribution to the internet industry right now to provide the massive amount of like applications to the you know, consumer or B2B user or something, right? So, you know, Based on this kind of how they're gonna you know solve that about the problem about the pain points about you know how about for the especially for the app developers you know the both you know play a very critical role for the entire blockchain industry that you know for application developer who wants to develop the blockchain applications they want you know to prefer to use the both project but it's much easier for them to you know develop their you know B two C or B two B application but also they can focus on more scalable active user base in a short period of time right. So based on these ideas, let's review about, you know, the transverse project. And then first things, you know, I'd like to understand about, you know, the difference between centralized cloud and decentralized cloud. Okay. So centralized cloud means the AWS or Google, Google Cloud, as we're going to discuss in the previous slide. And the decentralized cloud is just like an Ethereum, you know, Tron or like, you know, EOS, who's in a you know, decentralized, you know, block, uh, no, decentralized cloud project. Then, you know, the boroughs try to compete with, you know, centralized cloud. But I know central cloud currently, you know, mainly have the three key components to running the services. One is about the transaction system, which is going to pro process, but and pro they're going to process in every single transaction about like a user's like you know behavior, like sending a message or sending you know assets or sending you know talk or something, okay, or trading or something. Then you know they're going to keep those you know I know transaction record on a stretch here. Then, you know, sometimes they're going to retrieve those in storage data to reuse those data or sometimes they're going to use a recommendation or something. So we call it sometimes usually called like an analytics area. So these three components is a primary requirement for the you know, central cloud writing their services to the app developer. But currently, like an actually decentralized cloud, you know, blockchain taking care of only for, you know, this transaction system area because, you know, Blockchain doesn't have a functional app the storage data because, you know, it's too big for them to, you know, manage those kind of blockchain transaction network, you know, in this like, you know, blockchain ca technical capability. You know, once we're going to allow them like massive storage data on the blockchain space, not about the transaction speed is slowing down, but also like, you know, a lot of like, you know, centralization on a miner would happen. Uh, centralization on a miner also would happen for the burst project. 
So that is why, you know, Gross only taking care of the transaction system at this moment. Also, they don't have a supported analysis system too. But you know, a lot of like smart computer scientists working on to expand, you know, these, you know, their feature for both you know transaction system to the storage and the analytics stuff is currently working on now. And then from this perspective, you know, we can compare about you know major both project on the blockchain space. So I pick up the Ethereum, Tron, and the EOS. The first thing to and then Tron is here. The first thing is I want you guys to focus on these elements here because you know we are discussing with the burst project. So Ethereum is in a first, you know, one of the first burst project in the blockchain space, and then it extremely is well designed software. But currently they are taking care of only about the transaction system. But they are not still have like a strategy system, analytics system yet. That people should know. And then also, you know, the proof of stake model, the POS, is a kind of major consensus model in a BAS project right now, or it is like in a platform project right now. I know Ethereum is currently moving to or well, switching to proof of stake model from proof of work system model. Okay? So that's why I set the triangle here. But instead of EOS is a later player compared with Ethereum, have their own a whole functionality here. Transaction system, storage system, and analytic system. And also, like they already have the proof of, and they studied their consensus model from the and proof of stake model too, right? But, like, you know, Ethereum is still a very you know, powerful player here because they have first move advantage. But let's look at the Tron here. So, Tron is actually all, only capable like, in transaction system stuff, but they acquire you know, BitTrain system, that is why they can take in care of like a storage system here and then part of, you know, these elements here, especially retrieval services, because BitTrain have the retrieval, uh, retrieval functions, right? So, you know, when you overlook at these, you know, the matrix stuff, you can see like, you know, compared with like EOS, Trump is not so attractive bus project, right? But what I want to say here is that they have Another unique feature here that you know any other major competitor in a bus project not gonna have it. Alright? First one is you know the staking services, the DPOS, it's one of the unique features of Tron, just like a Cosmos. So once you're gonna deposit your Tron token on you know staking services like in a website such as Binance or something, you can receive a specific amount of like, you know the token as an incentives. So that's a unique point, you know, Ethereum and EOS doesn't have a support ZZS. But the, and Ethereum is kind of a little unique positioning because they have also like some kind of, you know, DeFi projects such as, you know, MakerDAO or something. And in these areas, they provide kind of same similar feature about, you know, staking services. So I said like, you know, I know, I know this market here. They don't, Ethereum itself doesn't support it, but the, I know the platform player on top of the Ethereum, Ethereum they're gonna support you know, those kind of staking services. That is why, okay? About CDN, you know, Ethereum and EOS never support you know, content distributed network stuff too, but Tron has a big trend, so that's why they support the area. And the most important item is actually here. <coughs> because, you know, the ETH, you know, Ethereum or Tron, uh, Ethereum or EOS does not have their own you know, applications, but Tron have their own applications. Actually, it's, it's a D-Line. And then this is one of the key elements that you know, I see that, you know, the long-term sustainable, you know, the scalable, you know, potential on the Tron project. So let me explain it later. But you can see like, you know, when you look at the entire elements, you know, these like a seven elements, you can see like a Tron is how the Tron is very unique project, you know, compared with the other bus project, right? Okay. So, you know, when you get the, once you're gonna understand this point, you can see also the meaning of, you know, this uh, chart too, because this is the, uh, you know, the data compression between each Bruce project. All right, orange mark is the market cap of the, you know, uh, each like, you know, Bruce project itself. And the blue, blue color here is a market cap of like a DApps project on top of like each Bruce project. So, you know, how you can see the, how Ethereum is the dominant player here. And this is totally convincing because you know, they are the world's first bus project in the blockchain space. Then why this is so important? Because you know, in this industry, including Bitcoin or like an Ethereum or USDT Tether, fast mover advantage do functions quite well in this new industry. And it's this kind of formula actually not gonna have, not gonna function in the other industry in the past history of the IT industry, but blockchain does functions. And if you want to deep understand this point, and deep, if you want to deep understand about this point too, please check my other video.
Uh, I'm gonna summarize my idea about the why you know fast move advantage does functions in a blockchain space. Okay. Then, so Tron wants to copy with you know EOS or Ethereum. So they're gonna take you know they have to differentiate their product strategy to compete with, especially for the Ethereum. Then what they're gonna done is actually this one. So they're gonna take the vertical product strategy to realize Web point three, uh, Web three point oh. Then you know, key player here they're gonna get is a bit trend. You know, Trump acquired a bit trend, and also they are acquired a D Live too. So D Live is a tokenized YouTube project, and which is most high potent, high highest potential my tokenized YouTube project in the blockchain space. So they're gonna gain these two player to compete with other bros project, but also to other you know, compete with it, like you know tech titans such as Google, or Facebook. And then let me tell you about it later. And then I guess probably you know some of the people is not so familiar about you know vertical product strategy, but I think it's kind of a typical approach in an early you know internet space or you know IT space, especially for the very 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 early stage. Okay. Then let me you know pick up the two examples here. One is at the Microsoft. So in a very early stage of the OS market, so Microsoft <coughs> wants to take the you know wants to try to get the biggest share. You know, you know their personal computer OS market, Windows suites. But to penetrate this, you know, OS market, they develop their own care application on top of their OS. So Word, Excel, PowerPoint, these three application is a killer application for the OS, you know, industry. The Microsoft recognize that kind of opportunity. That is why they take the vertical strategy model, product strategy model, to combine with like not only about the same the OS, but also they're gonna send their own killer application by themselves, right? The other case is actually Apple, you know, iPhone and iTunes combinations. So, you know, Steve Jobs wants to, you know, say, you know they already embedded his original idea with the iPhone almost like in the early 2000s. But he's not going to start it from this, you know, this platform directly because then you know, he learned from about the success of the Microsoft. He understand that, you know, he needs the very, you know, powerful care applications to, to make the success, uh, to make the you know, iPhone project be very successful. So, he started the project from an iPod. Then he started iTunes services. Then through the iTunes, they developed you know massive user base over like you know hundred million user base on iTunes services. Then they bring this application on the initial release of the iPhone. So you know iPhone exactly take the vertical product strategy approach, and then they made it extremely successful in the end because they created a completely new smartphone market you know industry from scratch to the global. That is why. Okay. <clears throat> So this is quite a good example to understand this point, right? All right, then next, uh, let's move to the next topic, team analysis, okay? So the Toronto also have the very strong teams. So let me explain about the detail. So Justin Sao is a co-founder and CEO. And also he got involved in the you know, blockchain space since Ripple because he used to be the country manager in the China, for the Chinese market for the Ripple. And also, you know, they, almost simultaneously, he started his own, like, you know, voice, live streaming services call me in China too. Then, you know, he now currently the CEO of the you know, Tron Foundation, also CEO of the Bittrend, right? The Kong, uh, Kong Lee, he's the head of the engineering, and he's also very, you know, great like tech expert because he used to be the tech lead at the Google and the Airbnb. Also, he led the, you know, IPO project the Airbnb, especially for strengthening about like, you know, their payment infrastructure in Airbnb. So like, you know, very trustful guy in the computer science field. So he's leading the entire engineering team of the Tron Foundations, okay? And then just, another Justin, the second Justin, also Senior Vice President, Product Management for you know, Project Atlas. It looks like this is a kind of very special task force in, you know, in Tron Foundations. But you know, this guy is actually used to be the you know, Vice President of the Product Management at the Bittrend. So he spent like an eight, around like eight years in Bittrend, so almost like a co-founder and a co-founder in the founding member level. So he deeply understand about you know, Bittrend technology, which means that you know, Bittrend technology is just like you know, my early state of the blockchain technology stuff. But that is from this perspective, like you know, he also deeply understand about the potential of the blockchain technology itself too, right? And the child is, is also in a very, you know, early stage, they're gonna work in together with, with Justin. So he's also the serial tech entrepreneur taking care of the marketing and operation staff too. So he also you know, founded his, the, uh, you know, Aragon Space is kind of social network service in China. So he's also very you know, entrepreneur guy. And the fifth guy, Nick, is actually from the Arctic industry because he used to be the senior director 
of the publisher par partnership at the uh, Terraria, which is one of the major video, you know, at a, at a platform for the, you know, publisher side. So, you know, from this, you know, they're going to require this guy. So you can see that, you know, how the trend is interested about the advertising business, right? Especially out of, out of tech industry business stuff, right? And I think you know, one of the you know, attractive points is you know, Tron is quite you know, strong at the recruiting. You know, I think Tron has a very high recruiting scale. And I found the reason you know, why here, because you know, you know, this you know, Chan Chan is actually used to be a, the uh, you know, hiring manager at the App Annie and Baidu and Tencent, you know, pretty you know, good success in tech startups you know, by learning by Chinese entrepreneur. And uh, I think you know, this kind of actually recruiting manager, you know, very capable recruiting manager, all the time helped in you know, building a very strong team. So from this perspective, like you know, you know how the Tron is you know building a very you know aggressive and powerful and very you know skillful you know team member to and running their own you know platform business stuff. Okay. <clears throat> then you know first one execution pro analysis. So with the teams, so how their you know execution skills and high or now that people should know, right? Then I try to correct the. Uh, and a more monthly basis that or something, but it's kind of a little bit difficult to find those numbers. So instead, I bring the number of the you know from the DAPS you know, dot com. It's a 24 hours like you know, transaction you know, stats co you know, to compare with the each first project. And then this is this number. So for example, like the DAPS number here. So ESOM is the biggest, and the second is Tron, and the EOS is third. And the 24 hour active user base, you know, Tron is number one, second is EOS, and third. Uh, <laughs> Second is Ethereum, and the third one is you know EOS, and the 24-hour transactions. So the EOS is the number one, Tron is the second, and then you know uh, Ethereum is the third one, right? Then amount of the uh, volume transaction, EOS is the number one, second is EO Ethereum, and the third one is Tron. So you know think about the, those four elements. You know Tron is a very competitive robust project, but about you know this number is only like their you know kind of weakness point. All right. Okay, and then let's move to the next topic about you know especially the DApps categories. And then I believe that they pick up like around like you know at nine you know gaming category uh, application category here. But I think it will probably the gaming app blockchain you know blockchain uh, gaming app will be the key driver for this like you know entire industry growth because you know currently the NFT. You know, non fungible token is one of the key drivers that to attract a lot of like you know user to get involved in, in this blockchain space from the B2C perspective stuff. And the gaming industry leading NFT market right now. So from this perspective, how they're gonna develop the very scalable and powerful gaming application is one of the key elements about the industry growth. So I look, mainly look at these numbers here. But you can see like you know how the Ethereum is still very really taking reader readership for this gaming category too. So you know, Tron have to think about how they're gonna differentiate, you know, to compete with the Ethereum platform. Then now the same topic is again. So, you know, how the Tron makes themselves so unique from the product strategy perspective is actually a bit trend and a D live. And all the things are starting to come in here. So, you know, in long run, you know, all the you know blockchain industry player competing with tech titan and an existing internet space google facebook amazon apple then you can see like you know how google and facebook is so dominant player from the you know massive with the massive active user base so facebook have a 2.9 billion active user base and youtube have 2.7 billion active user base global so you know once build up the source massive active user base Combined with like a Tron platform, BitTrend, and DLive, it's a huge success of this entire industry that they're gonna build the market strong presence to, to compete with you know existing tech titan in the internet space, Google, Facebook stuff, right? So you know I think you know, there I admire well you know I think this is a great approach you know for the Tron actually not about the Tron but as the entire blockchain industry that you know. How the Tron take the you know uh, vertical product strategy is so effective way to compete with those tech titans here, right? So fifth, the token economy analysis. Okay, so from the token economy this is a metric perspective, Tron categorize you know this layer, you know, these layers because you know but Tron itself is a broad project, but as I you know we're gonna discuss in the past previous slide, previous slide. 
you know, they play out the depth role or the decentral CDN, CDN, you know, category here with a B trend and a D line. So I said, you know, these two you know, key elements here, okay? But let's start from like a review about, you know, bus project here. So the key token economy for the bus project is the security economy and then, you know, governance down here, okay? This is security economy on the TRIX. So they take the staking approach, de dedicated proof of stake model, just like a Cosmos. So they provide the staking services here. This is data from the Binance. So they currently provide 7.9% staking ratio for the you know, in Tron investor, which is great, a good approach to increase their staking ratio to maintain their you know, consensus model more robust way. But the still issue is here is actually compared with other, like, you know, DPoS type of the, you know, platform project in the blockchain space, their staking in ratio is not that expensive and not that high level. Currently, it's like, you know, this number here, 20.5%. For example, like, you know, the world first, like, you know, DPS model, most scalable, like, a DPoS model is Cosmos. They already achieved, like, 73.4%. Know, then, since, like, you know, in the consensus algorithm on the Cosmos, they need to keep at the two thirds of like, you know, you know, staking model. So which is more like over 66.6% uh, is a very idea for them to keep it there, this number. So that's it's completely functional right now. But then, you know, I know Tron in DPoS, not so you know, powerfully effective yet. My only reason is actually, they don't manage so effectively about the DAO project yet. So uh, I think it's kind of a very big issue for them in the long term, but currently it's not so serious. You know, I, I tell you about the detail here, because, detail later, because they think actually random leader election model in a consensus algorithm stuff. So uh, even if it's a lower staking model, it's not so a critical problem, but I think, you know, to make the more, more, make more strong, you know, consensus algorithm or infrastructure in a more robust way, I think they, you know, should increase these number at least like over 50%. So that would be an issue for them in the long term, okay? Then, you know, network effect in the TRX. So from the Bruce project perspective, you know, they are doing, you know, good job. But once we get to them see of the more vertical model, like combined with the BitTrend and also DLive, you know, how your network effect model on the trunk is very unique and powerful and scalable, okay? So the reason is that I put the kind of triangle relationship with the Tron and the Bitcoin and the DLive here. This is kind of, to me, like it looks very perfect much to grow up the ecosystem, you know, in a more like a massive scale way. So let's start from the DLive active user growth, okay? So once, you know, tokenized YouTube DLive grow up, you know, and I'm thinking about the day where, you know, Tron itself is planning to running their, you know, advertise, you know movie advertising business on top of DLive. And that in the model will be like just like a Brave Browser BAT token model. So user, if we're gonna see the movie video on you know D Live, they're gonna get some you know token, my BTT or Tron or something, TRX or something. Then they can use this token, not liquidity, but actually they're gonna you know apply to the Tron gaming depth support, just like a gem. So once once you're gonna like earn the token here, they can apply these you know token to the Tron you know gaming the ecosystem here. So, which is like, you know, they can differentiate to compete with other like, you know, gaming dApps on EOS or Ethereum, which is actually quite advantageous because like, you know, for the user perspective, for the, you know, game, you know, user perspective, it's much easier for them to, you know, to get some return from, you know, watch a movie stuff and enjoy the game like this way. So this, this type of like, you know, advertising model and a game application convincing, I know, comparing uh, combination model, it's a, one of the very typical successful cases in you know, the internet space still. So we have a lot of prayer in you know, these areas. So, you know, I think this, you know, our model will be functional quite well. Then, like, you know, once, you know, the gaming dApps ecosystem grew up in here, Tron, which, you know, generate more like a bit, a bit trend, like a speed demand here. So that is why, you know, a lot of like a validator node, node on a bit trend will be grow up enough because they can make more, a lot of money through these you know, transactions. Then, you know, once we're gonna do more massive, like, you know, the node network in a bit, bit trend, which provide more stable streaming to the you know, D Live here. So, you know, this tri triangle relationship will, you know, quite function well to grow up like an entire, you know, Tron families and ecosystem, you know, more, you know, grow up in a short period of time, right? Okay. Then governance, okay. So, as I mentioned before, so they take like, you know, 
dedicated proof of stake with a random leader election model. So compared with the Cosmos, one of the difference between uh, in the cost, uh, trans like consensus model is in you know, Cosmos they also take the DPOS model, so they maintain around like a hundred validator. They are planning to increase like you know three hundred or you know a thousand validator in long term. You know those every single validator in the Cosmos network have to join a consensus algorithm, but in the Trump. It's not, you know, that's not you know, necessarily so. Because they take the random you know, leader selection model, which means that every single consensus, they pick up the, you know, the valid, main, kind of main validator who's gonna join the consensus network from the you know, validator pool, okay? So you know, those you know, leaders also you know, be elected again, 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 and random way. So it's kind of hard to detect, like, you know, point it out that which leader is an active or not. So they protected, you know, their network in so scared way, a secure way with this like leader election model here. But from this model, you know, they also try to build a DAO system here. But my compare with the Cosmos or Ethereum, their like you know DAO model is not so still very you know stable and a scalable way at this moment. It looks like a little bit more a little bit centralization model here. So for long term issue, I think they have to solve this problem. But now, since more you know, Tron looks like focusing on a massive you know growth model, especially competing with a huge like you know internet tech titan like Google, Facebook stuff too. So I think it's kind of acceptable at this moment. But long term, they have to solve this problem. Okay. All right. So the last one, hype cycle analysis. So as usual, I brought the uh, Gartner hype cycle in you know, blockchain you know stuff in 2000, from 2019, and then. The category that the uh, you know Trump family is logging and positioning here is first of all this in you know, a blockchain because it's actually led to the bus project. So the bus, you know, since so kind of one of uh, my oldest industry in the blockchain space, so it's getting matured. So they have like you know this you know growth chance here, but you know it's getting getting matured. You know, that's why I usually don't allocate a lot of money for you know, assets to the you know bus project because then their my growth potential. Is not so like you know high compared with you know these player here, but one of the unique points of the Tron is actually they you know positioning for the you know blockchain data exchange actually Tron is positioning here because they are you know you know they are trading uh, providing C two C trading platform for the stretch also the network you know band, so you know they position here, but also they provide you know new type of the video advertising services on the blockchain space. So they category also the you know, blockchain for advertising here too, just like a brave browser. So this is the one reason you know, I'm quite interested in the Tron project, TRS token, because in compared with other bus projects such as Ethereum or EOS, you know, their positioning in a market trend also very, very different. And it was very unique, but also very high potential here because this stream is located here. So they have you know, this, you know, the growth model here in the next two, two, two or three years or so. So I'm, you know, see the high potential here, right? All right, so the last one, invest in one out. So, all right, the pain, pain point is 4.5 because in you know, a is a very you know, fundamental project that we, we have to need and we have to develop in the blockchain space. But my still, it's kind of very getting much on the market. So a little bit like, you know, getting down the score here. And the product is the 4.5. Because like you know, I know compared with like you know as a platform, one of the uniqueness point is as I said, you know, Tron is in a com combination of the you know Tron, Buzz, and also the BitTrend and the DLive. And they have very unique key elements here. But you know, think about you know, when you look at the integration of each these, these three players on their platform, it's not so fully integrated yet. So that is why I put the 4.5. But team is really, really strong. So that is why their execution power is also very you know, pretty good one. But in the token economy, I put the 4.0 is especially about you know security economy and the DAO. Because like you know, especially DAO, as I said, like you know, you know their DAO mechanism is not so you know fully stable, you know, works you know that yet. Of course, in the DAO project is quite tough work to achieve that goal in the long run, long run. But still, they are struggling to build that kind of ecosystem. So it's kind of issue is still left. And for uh, also like a security economy perspective, as I said, like you know, if they're gonna apply the DPoS model, they have to achieve the higher staking ratio, at least you know, minimum requirements of over 50%. So from that perspective, 
you know, I put the 4.0 in a little bit weak here. And hype cycle, as I said, you know, strong positioning, very unique, you know, I know positioning here that they are gonna see, you know, massive potential in long term. So once they're gonna, you know, defeat it, YouTube, they can build a two point, you know, around like a 3.0 in you know, a billion user base by combination with the Tron, B trend, and also the D Live. So from that perspective, I set the, you know, I set the 5.0 here. So total score is 28 point. And my final answer for this project is, I think, yes, it's worth to invest, you know, some of your allocate staff, you know, allocate, uh, some of your assets allocate to, you know, this project, okay? And then things, you know, have to understand about, you know, more like an entire world of the Tron network or Tron family. I also, you know, make the other video about the BitTrend and the DLive, so please check them out. Then, you know, when you look at the whole three videos, including this video, you can more fully understand about the potential of the Trump project and the Trump families, okay? So, that is all, okay? So, uh, thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Bye.